Okay, Larry, it's time for the theme song. I don't want to play that. <laughs> All right, that's it. I've had enough. Now that just hurts like the dickens. Hi, and welcome to VeggieTales. I'm Tomato Bob. And I'm Larry the Hamburger. And we're here to answer your questions. Yay. I bet you're wondering where Larry is. You know, Bob. Oh, right. Now, the town to the west that thought it was terrible bore the name Flibero Lock, where the women and men since 1710 have worn on their heads one large blue. Now, in town number 10, one big shit wouldn't do. So the people of Gibberty Blue would look down and bellow at shoe headed fellows and place their own heads in a hole from morning to night without rest. <coughs> A few would write poems and sing happy ditties. And read all their friends with a smile. One Flibian fellow tried hard to act like a mobster. Hey, let's go for a walk. I'm tired of lying. So that's what he did. But neither the toy nor the boy could see the disaster about to ensue. <laughs> Two shitty crooks and their ruthless commander. And then they attacked him from under their rock. First they knocked off his buzzsaw Louie! Then they knocked off his sass! <laughs> but the thing they did next was extremely funny. Why, they took him so hard that he dropped his rubber ducky. Yeah! He protested. I don't like your milk! But they didn't give a shit. They'd accomplished their goal. So they put our friend down, stuck his head in a hole, and walked off with his mum every last pickle. Then yelled back as they left. Have you seen my plastic wind-up lobster? Nope. Then he said with a moan, I'm a gnome, and you've been... But this was a loneliness he'd never known. His friends were far off, and his lobster was missing. The sound he could hear was just the wind hissing. But then, were those footsteps? Oh, could it be a lie? Along came the mayor of Flibero Lot. Of anyone, surely he'd help the poor souls. Hello! Said the boy with his hole in a hole. Oh dear! Said the mayor, observing the shit. But, uh, how can I put this? Oh, what can I say? Ah, maybe you understand better this way. Uh -huh. That's it then. I'm finished. I'll die here down under. So that's what he did. Time for song songs with Larry. Our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hair. Having success, Larry cries out. Having heard his cry, Pa Grape enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Pa regains his composure and reports. <laughs> Having heard his joyous proclamation, Junior Asparagus enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Junior regains his composure and comments. Why do you need air? Larry has taken a bath. <laughs> Larry wonders. Having heard his wonderings, Bob the Tomato enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in the towel, Bob regains his composure and confesses, I gave it to the peach. Not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no wear, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair. Not fair. <laughs> My little hairbrush. Two hours later. My hairbrush. The Ed. I thought you were going to sing about growing up in Connecticut. So, is there anyone else you'd like to invite to your birthday party? Um, let's see. Don't forget Louie. Hey, everyone. Oh, my love, Mo. Shinde. Louie. Whoa. And the shout out goes to Blue Meteor YT, Gorn Animations, Pixar Fan 695. 
Mintega Dario, crazy. <laughs> The ground seems to have disappeared. <laughs> Unless I'm very much mistaken, this is not working. It is kind of fun. Let's see how you do. Bad boys, not bad. A nice 